the field. No surprises there. Yeah, Sivir, dominant force, and he's still available. Once again, Zane King, we saw him on that previously today. Now, are they going to pick that one up again for him? Olaf? Being oh, hovered over I thought that was Trindamir for a second. I was like, what? They're both very angry and yelling. Yeah, uh, with I mean, hats they, on. Yeah. That's true. Of course, the beard goes over to Olaf. You yeah. gotta have the manly beard. Strong beard. Not enough beards in league, if you ask me. A lot of stashes. A couple yeah. stashes. Not enough. Alexander I... Alexander the Great uh instituted shaving, or at least strongly recommended it, uh so as to cut down on beard related grabbing in battles. Yeah, it's definitely a disadvantage. Yes. yes. And then the shaved head thing came in. Don't want yeah. people pulling your hair, getting an advantage over you. No. And so it looks like Elise and Thresh being hovered over here for TWZ. Cortez oh, does yeah, play a yeah, lot of Elise. Both of those and send it back over to Cognitive. I got to say, TWZ uh, on the precipice of greatness. They've got, they've got the chance. Can they get it up and run? Are they going to fall down? Like Quantic is the same I, I want to see what Bishu picks up here. I feel here. bad saying it. I do. <laughs> I was, weren't you rooting for him coming in today? Weren't you just like, yeah. Well, they Quantic's have a so strong on Friday. They were looking really good at the two yeah. zero, and it's you know, still the, 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 the Twitter hype. So, I don't know. Scion grab, very likely. He is. We got conf confirmation from Kegwin that that is not an overlay mistake. I want to believe. Ah, oh, boo! A pretty girl instead. Typical. Typical Ziploc. So, I don't like those just yet, but Ringar and Jinx, the look right now for Cognitive. Running out of time, and they will lock. Yeah, that's oh, not, not too surprising. But is Bishu going to take something like an Oriana in the mid lane? Gragas? He's been favoring that a lot. But he does play a couple off mid laners like Lux. But I'm looking at this composition, I'm thinking Oriana, Gragas. Maybe Nidalee, because he really likes that champion. I don't know, but we'll have to see what he comes up with. Might leave that for last pick, but uh, hovering, over the, hovering over the Gragas. Grangle Dang's made it through the bands. He's been a regular band, regular pick. Not every game, not a given. Yeah, it'll, but, uh, he's making it through a lot. Sivir been basically pick or ban all day long. It, is he hovering over a Jace now? Is that, <laughs> we just refuse to believe Kegwin. For any reason, I, who was it? Was it TWZ that played Jace before we had a Jace play um, a couple weeks ago, last week? One of those two. Yeah. I oh. think it was. I think it was. Denial. Denial. Nope. Over to Gragas. I think it was the old denial. I think it was Billy Boss in the top lane. Because there was a Jace. Jace. There was a Jace in this tournament set. In this tournament the, uh, promotion. Yeah, yeah. We had a Jace mid lane. I think. Did we? Okay. I do I'll, believe we did. I'll believe uh, it, you. It may have been weeks ago. Oh, oh, yeah. Sure. No, no, no. It was during the qualifiers. It wasn't yeah. during this. these yeah, last not like, this. Three days. No, yeah. yeah. Not three, that, was, that was Billy Boss in the top lane. Bring in Jace. I just mean this the, during the promotion tournament. That's what I remember. Last month or so. Greg is going to get locked. Vane locked. Zion King with a sit on Annie. And we gotta get, we got to get how to pronounce. Pronunciation. Yeah, yeah Kegwin, quick. So, Confirm. Zyan, what? Don't do this to me. Zyan Don't do this to Kinga. me. Kinga. You got to really pronounce the G. Zyan King. Zyan Kinga. All right. But so what the Gragas does is it accomplishes two things. He gets a primary pick champion, but he also stops somebody from picking Oriana. So Oriana Rengar comp is shut down by that because Oriana does not do well against Gragas in lane. Maybe a little early, but then once he gets explosive cask, it's all Gragas's. It just just a playground. We'll end up with the zigs and lane clear abound on the cognitive side. That's been a big, big part of this weekend so far here on 3.14. Obviously, uh, a couple of really dramatic comeback swings uh, over the course of the weekend already, and that's one of the things that I know was uh, a core idea behind the play. And uh, it's run us through the ringer, I can say. Yeah. Everybody locked, and we're going to be okay. Going to the spectator delay. Let's run it on down. Cognitive is going to be taking Olaf, Ringar, Ziggs, Jinx, and Andy to the field. TWZ playing possibly for glory. Again, they're going to be all but locked. A couple of situations where they might have to do a little tie break and maybe 
possibly. We haven't done all the math, but TWZ in good position here, and they're going to take Renekton, Elise, Gragas, Vane, and Thresh to the field, see if they can't lock some glory in for themselves. We'll find out if they're came over to TWZ. Just by a nose, a lot of letdowns on the skin side. We're going to give nothing here props and assume that he's got the Jinx skin, but that he knows the normal skin's better mm -hmm. and went with it that way. Default is so much better, and granted, not on the tournament realm anymore. So I'm giving these people I'm giving a little bit more leeway with this. You know, if they don't own the skin, once they become LCS status, though. Yeah, you really should. I mean, you should you should spend dollars on on those skins because what what do you play a game for if not dress up? Right. Is that what Isn't you play? Ninety percent. You know why you you know why you spend six hours okay. making your character in Skyrim. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I was I was like, yeah. What do you? All MMOs. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. Six hours in, character creation complete. And awesome. you always keep around some older clothes that look really good, just in case those are your around town clothes for when you're walking around uh, Dalaran, you know? Got an AFK for a bit. This is not Dalaran anymore. But... I don't know. That was back in my day. Back in Wrath it was, yeah. Ooh, back in the Ironforge days, and just sit there. Back in the, and... Oh, yeah, there was, there was no, there was one auction house? Jesus. Yep. It was a terrible idea. <laughs> Plug another remember, And then remember when the... <laughs> The, the the doom hounds or whatever that they pull out of uh, okay. they pull out a dump major domo and they just bring them back and they disease everybody and kill everybody instantly. Chris is gonna be in trouble. Hook not gonna land. He gets the flash though. Would have been wide flashes. off to the side either way. Almost flashes into it. Oh, just get yeah, the distance the though. Edge. Plug in Blizzard products. It's exactly yeah. what the LCS promotional qualifiers by Riot's all about. <laughs> it's not that game anymore. No. Oh, no, Those are no, no. fond it's memories scary. of a long dead friend. Not recommend. League is where the business is now because they got the best dress up games. Want more skins though? I gotta say, I'm not. Maybe I'm not the only guy. I want to waste more money on the league, please. Well, I'm, so, I'm sure they want to provide you with more skins so they yeah. can take your money. They should. I want more of those like seven, seven twenty or whatever they cost skins, so they're slightly cheaper. <laughs> we were promised more. <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble. Nothing here. Gonna put some shots on the Nidus or main. Bobby Hank Hill walks forward. Hook's gonna land on a nothing here, and he'll spin the barrier. Stun comes out. Nice heads up play there by Zion King. It was very early spending the barrier for for just not taking some damage. I don't know how much good that was in terms of efficiency in the economy of summoner spells. Nidus gonna hope himself. They just don't poke until uh, till barriers back up. Because they weren't level two when he landed the hook. Gonna spin the flash there. The, those hooks just paying for themselves now. Three spent and one landed, two flashes for the cost of three hooks there. Nice for nice eight. Yeah. Coming out. He's got a Hurting great people. Oh. Spinning them summoners. Going to condemn nothing here away. Going to miss a CS as a result. Missed two of them. Yeah. Got back up, wasn't able to get them in range. And just a little thing like that. He's like, oh, I'm going to spend some mana and you lose some gold. So two CS lead, three CS lead here for Bobby Hank Hill. We'll keep Man. it down to the number. That's almost Four. seventy something gold. Live Five updates. Oh god, it's six. Twelve and a half gold. If you look at the the little trinkets coming out here, two sweeping lenses to one in favor of Cog. I had to actually swap my brain there. It's TWZ, TWZ and Cog. They don't have the uh, the abbreviations now on the live server. You gotta think about it. Yeah, right. I was looking at it. And Nope, they stick with their names. Ziploc, Yazuki. Gonna catch him with an axe. Yazuki goes on the run. He's gonna have to use his floaty if he wants to get out of this one. And got a little bit of help coming in by way of Kez. Zion King down! Gonna catch him. First blood over to Bobby Hank Hill. Got him with that bolt proc. And whoa, condemned. Gonna <laughs> put nothing here out of range of finishing off Nidus or Main. The sounds are too good. It almost hit. It was so close. The zap right off the side of Nidus for me. Man, as that electric bolt passes, your hair is just prick right up. Pulls it in the direction. A little bit of static shock would have been enough for Nidus for to drop on down. Not nice going to happen, though. Good heads up play on both sides there. Zion King with some good saves early on. Big save by Bobby Hank Hill there. Making sure that nothing here can't follow it up, even if he had wanted to. Yeah, Captain Ziploc coming in full tilt. Yazuki going to go on the run. Chris got the slow on him. Ignites down. They get the flash out. Nice. It was well played there. The ghost, though, coming out from Ziploc. So that really gave him the liberty to blow his flash. And the fact that Chris doesn't have his either. He's not really missing out on anything. Bishu going on Zamfira. 
I put some good damage down. Zamfira yeah, right. uh, just in a second, then decided to give him a little cue to the back of the head. Let me know how he feels about it. And Zephyr has in the area. Barrier. He brought barrier on Ziggs to the mid lane. So he knows that Bishu's gonna try to blow him up eventually. And Bishu trying to they're actually trying to pin Ziploc in here. We have both Elise and Gragas coming down. Chris gonna run Yazuki out, Ziploc gonna get low, because comes around, this might turn on him as Chris is running back. Repel will give him some time. He's got nowhere to repel to. Bishu's still in the area, so they gotta play this one safe on Kong. Yazuki goes on the run. First blood given over to TWZ, but not for lack of trying on Cog's part, as they have been really working Yazuki here, giving him a lot to think about and pulling a lot of resources their way. Yazuki might be a little bit trouble here. Going to give him some room to run. Hook on the Zion King. Bobby Hank Hill forward. Got the stun ready, and they are going to run him low quick. Gets the stun on the Bobby Hank Hill. Nothing here comes in to put some damage down. That could have been a lot worse if that stun hadn't been ready for Zion King. All of Nidus' hooks have either hit or warranted a flash. Gonna get another one here on another thing here. Plays him back, roll over. Does he have terrain? No. Just a little short. Bobby Hank Hill now on the run. Nothing here chasing down. Can they get it? Gives him a little bit of a shield. Is it enough? Zion King trying to close ranks. Can't get in there. Bobby Hank Hill's gonna get away. Wow, that zap really hurt. Even though it's rank one, it has really good scaling, and the two Dorian's blades alongside the long sword are doing extremely well. Level six here for Zamfira. He's looking for a Mega Inferno bomb. Let's send it up. And poor Kez coming down. Chris and Yanzuki, their fight will turn unfair. Chris gets clear. Mega Inferno bomb not gonna land. And he doesn't even throw it out. He's he's you looking said it, for it. Was locked on bottom. No, <laughs> he, he was looking for it. He went up there, and then he decided I don't want to do it. Because he was, it was just blind. He wants to save it for lane and possibly on a Bishu. So it doesn't land because he didn't throw it. So. Yes, a good reason for it to not land. And there, well, it goes. gonna send it down bottom. Clear the wave. And Bishu gonna start it up. Gets away clean. Doesn't have to spin the barrier. Nice spent by Bishu. Rolling up in the direction of Dragon. It looks like they will stop that possibly, at least in the area. Yeah, not working it. And it looks like, they, man, they, Nidus has just put the fear of God into them right now. Look at him. <laughs> they, they're just all on that other side. That's what happens. Like, when you go to Hook City, you don't want to go back anytime soon. No, and Ziploc's off, on the, Ziploc's off on the side, so if they could bait Nidus forward, it would be favorable for the lineup of TWZ. But they're still playing back. One of those things, and at this point, they've played back for so long that a roll forward is going to be a little bit of a tell there. Oh, Kez gets his red stolen away by Ziploc. And Kez just has to call it back. Zion King comes in with the threat of a stun. And with a low health Kez, they've got no option but to leave. We had the backup there by Zion King. He came up, followed him there to the red, so if they could actually get a stun, maybe could have been able to take out Cortez, but not so lucky. Nothing here. And there's just this ward battle in that bush. Nidus is like, I don't want that to happen again. A little bit of a shortcoming on the vision portion there because Ziploc is able to get in for the red. Might be taking the responsibility for that. Yeah, going to make sure that it's well covered. Got a pink and a green down. Yazuki and Chris still doing their smack each other, walk away, smack each other, walk away deal. That's up top lane, dude. That's pretty much it. Nidus, looking for something. Zion King in trouble. Bobby Hank kills there. Chomper's going to come down. Lands another hook. And Nidus or Main will fi finish that one off. Going to give an assist on over. Two kills now on a TWZ. They're out to a 1.5k gold lead. No real leads on CS. Save for Yazuki, who is miles in front of Chris right now. I want to say that Nidus is almost 100% on his hooks. He's just been doing a fantastic really job close, yeah. all game. And I'm still counting the ones where he gets a flash as a successful yeah, hook. Yeah, that, that definitely counts. Because that would be a hook. Or at least they're convinced <laughs> it would be a hook. Enough yeah. to spend something that costs, you know, basically Think as much as your life. That flash is precious. Precious five, to you. Five minutes on that cooldown. Yeah. Unless you take some utility, but still. It allows him to land the next one. And here comes Captain Ziploc still in the top lane. And... Just drawing a lot of aggro up into this top. Captain Ziploc hasn't made... I mean, shown up down bottom. Not nearly as often as Kez, who's down bottom again. Nidus or main fails a flash. We get out. 
He will not. Captain Ziploc going to be the one to get it away there. Chris in trouble as Yazuki and Kez going to work on him. And they're going to tank that one out for a while. Oh, a little bit of a hang up on the minions and possibly a little bit of miscommunication there. Was the he ultimate. will escape with his life. It's the ultimate from Chris. He cloaked. So ah. they, weren't, they weren't able to see him. Although he's right in front it's of him, done. invisible. It's really hard to see because all he does in that skin is he just glows a little bit. Ah, uh, that's what it was. Yeah, I, I always have trouble seeing it because you get that little, little glow. Oh. Yeah. But, Much easier man. on like Vayne when you got a big, <laughs> big cross underneath. <laughs> so if she tumbles, you're like, yep. And yeah, you got the sound the too. The typical yeah. sound of somebody stealthing. With him, you just hear the growl. And if your game sounds are kind of low, then you, you don't. Which they definitely are. I, I got them much lower on this client than on the tournament realm. Bottom out are going to fall down. Top out are going to join it. As it's one to one on the turrets now. And gold, about a thousand between these teams now. A little bit in favor of TWZ. And Cog, looking for something to get them back into this game. I mean, granted, they aren't really that far out. But we've had Zamfir clearing out the side lanes with the Mega Inferno Bomb, just trying to keep people off objectives. Turrets are even. But man, that pickup on a Nidus or main up top is really good. I guess he's Nidus her man now. Yeah, it's just <laughs> on the on the live realm. I always felt like that was some advice, like your best friend, like dude, just just Nidus her man. man. Yeah, yeah, like the, I like that girl at the bar, dude. Just Nidus her man. Chicks it's love it when you're Nidus. Terrible thing to do to a person. Um, Sneak into their base with a giant murder worm. Uh, That's well, the, good. It's the advice he would give you. That's a bad friend. Yeah. Never listen to that friend. Plus, anybody who ends a, a, a sentence that's trying to convince you of something with man, don't listen to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> advice is probably not great. Yazuki and Chris going to trade up again, and looks like Yazuki going to get the better of it. Still out front, 58 to 87 CS. Right now, the mid lane is taking a turn, however. Zamfir at 127 and the 92 CS of Bishu. Still going to be holding on to about a 1,000 gold lead. On the TWZ side, Yazuki gonna pop the ult to try to get out of this one. They got plenty of time to tank. Flashes forward, catch comes in, stun, big. Chris goes down. Yazuki burns him away. Ziploc now being chased down by Kez. Kez gonna come up, gets the Q. No stun to follow it up though. Spent that one and didn't have the cooldowns quite ready, but Yazuki will be able to take over the lane again with no turret. And Ziploc sitting a little low. Zamfir is swinging down. So Bobby Hankel going with a standard vein build here. Blade of the Ruined King on him. Man, I'm still, my mind is blown by that last Whisper pickup so early on Tails last game. But, you know, Bobby not taking a page from Tails book, even though it worked for him. Yeah. Gonna go with the classic. Gonna drop the bomb over the wall a little too late, and Kez will get that dragon secured. 2k gold lead now for TWZ. Keep in mind, they're 2-0 oh in the series, uh, in the round robin so far. Need to hold on to it. Nothing here. Going to get locked up as he's put into the wall. What can you do? Nothing here. Basically, the duo lane split pushing. If you want to call it that. And nothing here. Just a tower eater. Takes out top inner. Is there an answer from TWZ? Well, you know, going to go back to the little silver lining here. Zamfira threw out the Mega Inferno Bomb a little late. But he got Kez's spiders. It's still gold. Still yeah, live with that's gold. money. Yep. Money in the bank. Not going, nobody's complaining. A but, spider killed is a penny earned. That's what my mom used to say. <laughs> yeah, and Chris, he really is down on CS right now. He's down about 24. But then in the mid lane, Zamfir is up about 30 on Bishu. Bishu, no, just goose eggs all through the mid lane. Hasn't been a lot of action from them. It's really been these side lanes, these fringe events. And, and even then, a lot of it been on the turret. I mean, there were a lot of attempts, people getting away. But uh, overall, four kills across 14 minutes. Ooh, that's the new championship ward. Tain King and nothing here. We're just sitting in that top bush for a long time, planting a trap for Bobby Hankill. Not going to fall for it, though. Just goes and decides to get the golems, the safe, easy farm. Doesn't have vision up in that top area. So he's At some point here, I got to say, TWZ got to do something to push out uh, that top lane situation. They've got that recall. It's funny. Um, the Walking Zed. Right now, uh, basically down a turret on the back of the fact that there's a Jinx on the field. And man, he's just getting shoved in here in the bottom lane, Chris. Renekton just does so much. Whoa, what was that? So Renekton, he does a lot with the Sunfire Cape. And Chris, ooh, they're just gonna clear this out. 
Uh, up onto Kez Ziplocks there. Stun will land. In comes Knight as her main. Get a lock up Ziploc. And they'll turn around, do a little bit of damage. Megan Inferno Bomb will not be the thing to finish the job. Indeed, it'll be Captain Ziploc that walks away with the kill. Gets an assist there. So what I was going to do is we are going to talk about why Chris doesn't have as much CS as Yazuki does. Yazuki able to get the Sunfire Cape and just continue pushing. Chris, blowing the ultimate. Gonna go on the run and... We'll get away. He's pretty slow for increased movement speed there. Having yeah, not, no not the quickest in the world. But no inner turret to run to. Bobby Hank killed. There's a lantern there. And finally takes it. I don't know if he could actually get to it. Bishu coming in, going right over the bombs. Then Fear trying to get away with the satchel charge. Same team comes in, locks it up. Ringar gonna grab one. Nidus remain now in a little bit of trouble. He's in a minefield and nothing to do. Then Fear picks that one up. Cortez comes in. Can he do anything? No, sir. Bobby Hankill tries to condemn him away, but Zion King grabs one. He's gonna go one, two, 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 oh one now on Captain Ziploc and a grab right there for Zamfiro's 103. Now it's 5-3, to three, 200, 300 gold difference between these teams. And that was a big comeback there. It was just about 1,000 gold between them. But going for 3 for nothing, I believe it was, in that fight, is a huge, huge deal for COG this early in the game. It's still 16 minutes. It's early. I got to say, the Jinx split push, it's it's hard to deny. Yazuki having a tough time dealing with it. Plenty of lane clear. Plenty of attack speed. Tower Eden in the bottom lane is not going to happen, though. Jinx going to check out as Renekton recalls. Got to walk it on back now. Might get some quality time with it. I was thinking, how do you deal with something like that with the Jinx split push? If you leave her alone for even a little bit of time, she's going to be able to just shred that turret down extremely quickly. And as Renekton, you're going to be taking some damage from her. It, it, if you try to go in on her, she has some escape mechanisms. Not as many as most ADCs, but... Still, if she hits anything, you're just done for. But up top, you know, they decide to swap it. So Yazuki going to be in that free lane with no turrets. And then we're going to put Vayne down bottom. And it's one of those things. They had Vayne. It was uh, kind of a 2v1, though. Nidus Remain was doing some walkabouts business. But still, a hard one to fight for Bobby Hankill, especially if he doesn't get the jump on it. You land some sparks, you land a chompers, you get a couple of free auto attacks for nothing here, and that's a duel that's just over right there. Nothing Bobby Hank Hill will be able to do. Plus, you go fishbone style, and you will just be able to do basically ever what you want. You're going to have plenty of range up over a vein who's going to have to come in close and probably bring in some assistance to finish off a kill on the Jinx. Yeah, and Yazuki trying to keep tabs onto Chris. Doesn't want him roaming around. I mean, that's like one of the worst things is to have a Rengar just, you lose sight of him, you don't know where he went, and then he'll pop up all the way across the map. Uh, Chris taking a note from himself saying, I wasn't fast enough na last time, I'm going to grab myself some boots. Yeah. Well, it needed a little bit more move speed to go with that increased move speed. Yeah. You, well, he wasn't able to catch Nidus previously, but of course Nidus did double back and it didn't work out for him. But man, now pretty much even across the board. But... Up top, CS difference. Whew. It's making up for those two turrets. And again, still haven't managed to force team fights here. TWZ have been playing Cognitive's game. That is to say, keep laning. Please keep laning. Don't try to force anything. Gonna get a drop right here, and what's more or less a pick on Anitis or Main, which means bottom outer, imperiled to say the least. And Nidus was off to such a great start at the beginning of this game. He's just getting picked off. Most deaths on his team, half the deaths overall were in. And, and they might do a dragon off of this. It's about to respawn. They ping it. And Cognitive oh, yeah. definitely able he to do it. He was driving the bus to Hook City. And now he's just, just sitting, uh, sitting on the curb next to it. It's all busted down. He's not going to get there ever again. Sad. A sad story. But we have Yazuki Trying to proxy farm behind two turrets here. Why not go two that. turrets deep? Why not? Why not go three? Farm it straight I... up in the base. Stand between the next turrets there. And then you can pull multiple lanes at a time. Mm -hmm. Take the CS you... from other people. Yeah, why yeah, not? If you can slice and dice one lane, why not two? Yeah, think big. Dream big. I got to say, right now, Cognitive... Uh, really, they've got TWZ playing their game. TWZ going to have to break out of it. Because basically, as it is, I mean, look at that. They're setting up picks, and they're getting them. Could they stand a team fight? Hard to say. Yazuki is absolutely huge. You got 160 CS, 111 on the vein. Gonna have...
plenty of attack speed, good damage output there. The Blade of the Ruined King and the Zeal. Gragas still down a little bit, but not in terrible shape. He's 181. He's given up a kill. But hey, Gragas always going to be able to put good damage onto the back line. But still, TWZ just going where Kong is telling him to. It's allowing the split push on nothing here for a long, long time. It's managed to let them pick up four turrets in total. All the outers and top end are gone. Only a single turret for TWZ. And I'm just, I'm finding myself wondering, where are they at? Why don't they just come in and say, hey, Cognitive, if you guys don't show up to this fight, we're going to bust up all your stuff. Yeah, but I think they want to go for the split push, though, because Renekton has such great wave clear, and the fact he has a Sunfire Cape, they're really kind of banking on that at this point. And the fact that he has so much CS, that's really what it seems to be. But Bobby Hank Hill off on the side lane, farming himself up. I think he thinks he's more behind than he is, or if he's just trying to carry the game. But they want him to be, they want him to be really, really buff. So they're going for the 1-3-1. One, Chris right. also got an open lane up top. Gonna make it a little bit hard to get Yazuki out of there. If he can send it on over, if they could get him a turret, give him somewhere to push to, might free him up to walk about just a little bit more. But as it is, uh, 21 minutes in, six kills to three, four turrets to one. Cognitive got a lead, but it's been weird. It's on the back of a lot of picks, not a lot of straight up team fights, but it's worked out for them right now. They got a lot of primary objectives taken care of, which means that they may be able to force TWZ into less than ideal team fights. Yeah, and that's what they need to do right now. They're down 2K, and this gold lead isn't isn't being overcome by CS. They need to start making some plays, because if they keep keep it like this, it's just going to be steady zinking, using the talisman. Beach just says, get out of here. <laughs> Puts big damage onto him, but Chris and Captain Ziploc still pushing down mid. Not going to get a minion line to do anything with. They're going to try and walk it around Pincher style. Kez is going to get in a little bit of trouble. Gets the stun out. Flashes over. Bobby Hank Hill comes in. Puts Chris back. Kez is going to repel at the right time. As Cognitive try to collapse onto a jungle pick there. Not going to be able to get TWZ, but do get some quality time, possibly with mid inner, while TWZ swing around. There's three ultimates going for two there. The box still available and Dominus still available for TWZ. Whereas on Cog's side, they still have the <laughs> Super Mega Death Rocket and the Tibbers, their primary engagement tool, still available. Flash still up for Zane King as well. Chomper's going to stop the Nidus Remain from following him through, and that will give them room to get clear. <laughs> They're standing right on a ward. <laughs> this is. Might want to sweep her where you're standing. But, you know, hindsight 2020, tell them to We We can see them. Nidus Remain going to get caught by some shocks. He's going to drop the box. Captain Ziploc locked in place. He's going to go on the run. Repel up, looking for somebody. Bishu coming in. Big ult right there. Yazuki to the back side of the fight. Zig's going to pick up a leech. It's one for one right now. Yazuki still standing in the front. In comes Bobby Hank Hill. Needs a little bit more damage output. Can't get to Zamfira or nothing here. Yazuki's got a bail. On the run he goes. Down he goes. Nothing here. Finishes it off and wants some more, but not going to be able to get it as they get too close to that inner turret. That's a two for one. The Tibber stun didn't hit anybody there. So he threw it down off to the side a little bit. Nidus, look for a hook. Gets it. Gets it. Does he have anybody to help him out? Okay. Q's going to be short, and he melts. Oh, Bishu got zoned off by a Mega Inferno Bomb there. And we also had Chris off on the side to help with assist in that kill. So he's, he's still doing well on his hooks. Just the follow-up and the fact that nobody was really around. Yeah. Well, I mean, a, a great hook, but not a great time for a great hook. Necessarily 3.7k the gold lead right now again the walking Zed need this one They want to walk away with this one. They're 2 and 0 in, in the round robin right now It would basically make sure that they were gonna be in the top three okay. I mean there's gonna be some tiebreakers if they lose this one. I'm almost positive There's the, everything nobody's really blown up the group stages at all Nobody's really blown up this round robin and been like oh, I have a definitive leader. Well, nothing here Steals takes it the away. blue. And takes Bishu extremely low. I can't do anything about it. All in a day's work for a Jinx. And I... Because oh, it, it won't blow up on contact with the Golem. You ne you have to have somebody next to it. So he throws it out, hits Bishu, and the explosion, the contact damage, picks up the Golem. So it's not like an Ezreal ultimate, but... Man! It's insult to injury right there. 26, 25 seconds now to Dragon. Gruul gonna get picked up by Captain Ziploc. It's the Wraith. It's the the White's name. 
and they're doing a fantastic job here. Chris, all over Yazuki. Yazuki losing the fight. Fairly <laughs> even trade overall, but bails anyway. You can never tell with these top laners who's winning and who's losing. They pretty much just, when one starts attacking the other, they can't stop because as soon as one backs away, you got buddies here. Oh. And Chris, nowhere to go here. They're going to get a big pick. Finally get one back on the PWZ side. Kev's going to get credit for that one. Nine kills to five. And they're not going to follow it in to yeah, the turret. Stay. Yasuki's gonna stay. Not much health left on it. Yeah, so that's okay. I haven't looked at the health on it just yet, but he's got time to get it finished. Gonna pull some of Cog away. Bobby Hank Hill goes on the chase here. And Nidus Remain throws the hook. He's gonna get out the side of it. Pops Ragnarok anyway. Yep, just in case. It's worth it as a preventative measure, even if it wasn't gonna hit. Especially with the dragon being worked down. Comes in late. Jinx gonna secure that. That's. Three and a half K gold lead going over to Cog. Man, if they win this one, they bring themselves up to three one, and then that puts TWZ at two Z two one because they're two zero currently. Don't need no jungler. You got a jinx. Everything's okay. Yeah, whoever wins this pretty much almost solidifies a slot for themselves. But Cog you know, they're, two, they're what are the scores? Cog's two one. Two one. If so they, they win yeah, this, they three, go three one. Three wins, uh, yeah. I mean, big game for both sides then. Obviously, the Walking Zed uh, no, don't have a loss, but they've got more chances to screw up. We can put it that way. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, exactly. So since a lot of the teams already have, or I guess two teams, Complexity and Quantic, already have three losses. And, you know, that's not important right now because Chris looking for Cortez. Catches the block. Yazuki, Kez. <laughs> They're just going to call it away. Everybody got scared in the jungle. <laughs> It's understandable. You do, you gotta have a buddy system if you're gonna roll into the jungle. So he grabs his buddy for him, make sure he has his back. This is just like going to the bathroom. Gotta have a buddy. You're gonna want to work out a code word system, system right? so that you can, you know, so that when you need to say something to your buddy, if stuff goes pear shaped, it'll un it'll be understood. Captain Ziploc and Chris beating up on Yazuki. Nine is remaining. Gonna hook one more. Comes in, not a ton of damage there, but he's gonna drop the box. So Yazuki's got the option to leave if you want. Chris catches his stun. Kez doing some good damage there. Yazuki on the chase. Don't think Chris gets out of this one. No, sir. Kez with the kill. Goes 2 2 2 in the jungle. It's a different story. Zamfira did some good work done. Bishu gets blown up. That barrel was on the ground. They should have let it go. Nothing here. Very low. Chompers walks around them ever so gingerly. You know, I think it did blow up here, on him. He's got a long way up. I think it did blow up on him. Zamfira had barrier. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Barrier was burned. I'm it pretty sure that's what happened. Basically, perfectly there. Right? Yeah. He put it up, and then the barrel came out. I think the barrel, you know, may have actually done a little bit more damage. Maybe he. I don't know. Yeah. As long but as he got Q mashed, the, uh, the new like the, the new mechanics on the Gragas barrel let you pop it. So otherwise, it would have just sat there yeah, for a couple of years. That's true. That's right. Which is always sad to see when you're Gragas, your barrel just sitting there as everybody casually walks away from it. From wasted drinks. Yeah. What can uh, you do? You well, know, you can you can whine about it. About hey, it. I get it. Who? Yeah. It could be a champagne in your rear. <laughs> oh. Well, hey, oh. The best thing is I didn't even know I was doing that. Those are the best. Yeah, those are the best ones. And then somebody says I get it, and you're like, yes. You did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh. Man, right now, it's, I gotta say, but a fairly quiet. I mean, you know, it's it's a solid lead right now for cognitive, but it, it feels relaxed. You know, nobody rushing down anything. Plenty of space being given. Just skirmishes here and there. It led to an eleven to six game here. Gonna drop the bomb. Not gonna Chris? get any follow up. Chris just seems so slow with that Rengar ultimate. I don't know what it is. It's so strange. Yeah. Like he, it's, I tell you, like, it was the lag. It was the lag in that one game. It, it made him look ruined so fast. our perception of how fast a Rengar should move. He's kind of like doing a light jog. He's barely out of breath by the time he gets there. That previous Rengar, that guy was sprinting. Yeah, no pain, no gain on that Rengar. He's booking it. He's, He's like, if my aviolis, whatever you call them, don't ex feel like they're exploding, and I uh, haven't done the job. Yeah, he's, he's gonna have shin splints by like time he's 12 years old. Some long time. Tiamat on, uh, on Yazuki there. Gonna have a little damage on. 
Looks like Ziploc, they're just clearing out the Baron. 30 minutes in, man, these games, not a lot happens, but it takes a long time. Now, like, it's the complete opposite of 3.13, 3.14. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of excitement, a lot of action, and, you know, games that uh, very often done at 32 minutes. Oh! Ooh, oh! 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 <laughs> Sir May! Denying everybody the access to it! Captain Zipplock <laughs> wants it, he's not gonna get it! Oh, <laughs> nice! Oh, my beast! The, the, the dancing shoes are on for Nidus! The ultimate! <laughs> oh, jukes everywhere! Oh! Put full taunt on Nidus or Main, and nobody got anything! Just one of anything would have done it! Even Three if it was just for nothing! <laughs> that was. Oh. It's not even the edge of the Inferno Bomb! <laughs> Get a little tiny bit on the edge. A couple extra pixels. Nothing doing. Axe was shorted. Gah, that was wonderful. Oh, so Chris, he hasn't been making huge use of his ultimate. He's been using it to kind of get away a lot of the times when he gets ganked or to close some distance, but he hasn't really jumped on anybody's backline and blown them up just yet. Nidus sees this. Is he going to take it? And it's going to be a rough one. That guy's over the wall. Gonna get down, gets down, not in time. Jinx gonna get it. And he will blow up Kez real quick on the other side. Bobby Hank Hill gets a box drop. Not gonna get away from the Q, however. They slow down. Nidus from Main finally get that quarry. Nothing here. Chasing it down with the passive. Nobody in there. Three for none on the back of a Baron grab. Sadly, the minions, not serendipitous. They're gonna have to go clean them up. Watch them walk on over. Chris tanking the turret out. Nobody getting the message. There they go. We get on to it. Nothing here in the Tower Eater has arrived. Sadness of the right now for TWZ. They're in a bad way. Don't think they'll push it through with just that. <laughs> Switcheroo right there to finish off the inhibitor. They were like, haha, they left too early. Just send them a little parting gift on that one. Some dreams. And, man, Cog really had the back timers of TWZ down. And that Baron. Neither jungler's smite went down. Ziploc didn't use it, Kez didn't use it. It was just up in the air there, nothing here ends up picking it up. And man, they push that immediately. They pick up some kills. Box is dropped, not gonna help there. Bobby Hankill gets picked up and ooh, Kez! In trouble again, he's gonna flash. He's gonna be able to get over the wall to the wolves, but Chris is there. Megan Inferno Bomb will help out. Ziploc will finish the job. The lead now, 9,000 gold for Cognitive. They have been sort of casually in control of this game for quite a while. TWZ just never running away with anything. Barrel comes in. They'll finish the turret. And fear with credit for that one. But uh, Kong would have been casually in control. Now really getting a lot of active work done. <laughs> they aggro the white and it stops Zane King's back. Was... Thanks, Zamfira. <laughs> Thanks for that. Just wanted to check and see if it was there. He was like, I'm going to come back later and get it. But it was the one the layaway. Closest person, Zanky. You know, the supports, it takes so much stuff from your team. I'll just keep it at that. Nah. Get a deal with your team. Nah. Supports are the most respected. <laughs> you know, everybody's talking about great support plays all the time. 3.14, it's, it's more likely now. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Ziploc steals that one away. He needed it. Era. <laughs> you can't say he didn't need it. <laughs> That's what he, he gets for everything. Come on. That might affect Yordles, them, Don't though, Yordles have enough nice things? They got rocket stuff. Here comes Chris. Robots. On to Kez. Zamfir in there. He's going to repel. Buys time for Yazuki to get to the front. Drop the Mega Inferno Bomb and he'll get a lantern out. Nothing here shows up. Got the Guardian Angel. So he'll have two lives to spend and a front line capable of sustaining that sort of idealism. Yeah, so both Zamfir and Nothing Here haven't died. And if you look at Zamfir's build, He's got a Lich Bane. He's got a Lich Bane on top of his passive. He's looking to destroy turrets. When they get up to a turret, he's going to throw that out. Jinx is going to be doing so much damage to it. The two most fed members of COG are just tower destroyers at this moment. i just scared to think about what it's going to look like when that turret really comes on a proper attack there. Nothing here, putting on some good long range shots and sends the ult out. Bishu! Whoa, within an inch of his life. Will be able to make it back to the pool, but he has got a while to wait. 
We're gonna get that inhibitor trip. Bishu finally back to full. We're gonna come walking back out. Zion King in. Big ult there. We're gonna spread him very, very wide on the cog side. They regroup, turn it around. Mega Inferno Bob. Bobby Hank Hill is gonna take some good damage off of it. Yazuki in trying to finish off Zamfira just short of it. Drops the minefield as a precautionary measure. Not gonna need it. Nothing here. Stunned up in the back. Will allow TWZ to get clear. Super minions abound in the base, however. It looks like they're just they're not gonna push this out anymore. They really can't. Knight's looking for something. Just locked up. He'll get clear. And no, he won't. Knight is flash forward repel. Is it gonna be short? They lose it. Oh! Just by inches there does Chris manage to get away. We have the Bobby Hill's so low. And Q QSS coming out from Bobby Hank Hill. Get rid of the movement speed slow there. He was fearing for his life. That hit Bobby. Would have been GG for him. Man, still no deaths on both Zamfira. Nothing here, nothing here. Still has his GA available. Man, TWZ has a lot of work to do. They are 11k, or I guess 10.4k behind. And two inhibitors down, one turret left in terms of inhibitor turrets. I guess one inhibitor just respawned. But man, he is not looking good. Indeed not been a steady climb so far for Cognitive. Again, getting uh, out front there early. I believe it was just at the start, first blood over the PWZ. But they got a couple back, got some good fights, and really confounded... TWC with movement around the map, Cognitive able to get a lot of turrets with very little effort early on, which allowed them more free reign about where they could go and win. Yeah, and Cog's really just been dictating the whole pace of this game, like you're saying. They really, like right now, they're inside of their jungle, they're gonna start warding it up again, clear out wards, and then they're gonna get ready for this Baron in a minute and a half, possibly yeah. push up top, and Chris using his ultimate to scout for people. Ignore that overlay. Baron will be up a minute 25. Same on the dragon. Beast you gonna catch a bomb. Gets a little bit of a shield though. Gonna spend some ults there. Nothing here throws his out. Zion King working down those wards. Right now, just gonna be a siege up on the front. Still a minute to Baron. They've got time. Gonna make sure everything's cleared away. See if they can't poke it onto the inhibitor. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, so they'll back it up. Clear it away, nothing here. Still got the Guardian Angel ready. That Lich Bane on Zamfira gave me horrible flashbacks to the uh, Split Put TF. Split Push huh. TF. Oh god. I'm glad that's Lich not Bane a thing anymore. Eat turrets. Look at the damage. Inhibitor's gonna fall. Down it goes, nothing here getting credit. Hook's gonna land onto Chris. I mean, Ninus or Bane, the king of hooks right now, but he just can't get the kills. Too much out there. Thresh off the field. Bobby Hank Hill goes in Viz, gets away. Captain Ziploc not going to let it happen. Watson dead, gets him. Kez chasing him down. Ziploc might fall, but Yazuki is going to fall first. Ziploc down under a turret, but Kez pulled away from the zone of utter importance. Is what I like to call the area around the Nexus. Bishu sends in a Q, splashes it on the big tiger lion guy. Cat man. Kong gonna win it. TWZ a little bit behind from the jump. Got off to an okay start with first blood, but downhill from then on, and Cognitive just walk away with it. Some great split pushing on the part of nothing here. Yeah, they started off strong, but Cognitive is in the driver's seat pretty much since the, I think it was around the maybe 10 minute mark is when it started getting out of their hands. But yeah, congratulations to Cog, and yep. Yeah. They're going to go Take three and one in very good shape to move on to the relegation matches. Whoa, we're going to find out how it all shakes out tomorrow. Hold 